I'm here to um, let uh, the Assembly and the Senate and the Governor know that benefits should be negotiated and not legislated, um, and that they are undermining the entire tradition of collective bargaining and helping to destroy one of the best school systems from K through 18 in the entire country. IFT is here. We're standing with you. We're fighting with you. Uh, Governor Christie is uh, set to destroy the state. Uh, we need to take it back for the residents of the state. Not people who want the sort of uh, bailouts and tax breaks for multi-millionaires. Uh, we need to get New Jersey on the right track. The strength of the middle class in this country is due almost entirely to unions. And this effort to take away from us anything that we might reasonably bargain for is part of, I believe, an attack on the middle class and an attack on the rights of the working people. This morning they reported corporate profits and CEO salaries are at an all-time high. I don't know anyone in this audience who could say our salaries are at an all-time high. I'm here to try to convince the legislature to negotiate, not legislate. As a labor economist, I believe labor issues should be settled fairly at the negotiating table. New Jersey has a long history of the government and civil servants working together in the best interest of the entire population of the state of New Jersey. I'm here to support American families and quality of life, including health care, living wage. That's why I'm here today. So we need to protect collective bargaining for the sake of families and for the sake of uh, the American way of life. I mean, this is what it's about in America. This is how we've gotten uh, the things that we have in the the standard of living that we have today. And we can't go back on that. We're standing up for a principle, and we're retaining some integrity. And so, will it make a difference with the legislature? I sure hope so. I'm here to protect my benefits, my health plan, Okay, and now they want to mess with the benefits, they want us to continue to work like animals for no money, and that's great. It's important to our members for the quality of their life and to have a say in the terms and conditions of their employment. And we need to hold them accountable just as they're holding us accountable. They need to be accountable. Take health care off of collective bargaining is the first step. Not as bad as Wisconsin, but um, it's uh, go going in that direction. I grew up in a blue collar family. I'm one of five children. My dad was a member of a union from the time he was 16 until he died. And if there weren't opportunities for my dad um, to negotiate and to really elevate the rights of working families, then I would have not had been elevated into the middle class and had the privileges that I did in order to go on to schooling for many, many years and become a college professor. We're here today because we believe in the right of working Americans to negotiate the terms of their employment with their employer. It really doesn't matter whether you're private sector or public sector. That's a sacred right of all Americans and we're here to defend it. In solidarity, we stand together. Thank you.